Hi, I'm James and welcome to the latest review which is looking at 28mm rifle figures in plastic. Now I'm going to start with looking at the Perry figures. Now the Perry figures came out in 2009 and are included as part of the British infantry box set they do, although I just bought the sprues separately as I wanted a few rifle figures. Now looking at them there's not a lot of parts on this each figure has got the main body the head the pack and then either one or two piece arms now they're nice enough little figures uh, the packs could be left off although you then lose the attached pouch and water bottle but there isn't a lot of variation it, they are going to be very similar um, now I actually put them together, they went together really nicely as Perry figures always do and I always like Perry um, but the figures you see here are the entire variations that you can make short of leaving off the the pack and you can change the head angle a little as I've done on the figure on the right um, but you are rather limited in what you, you can achieve but kit wise they're bang on, they look right, they're nice um, and they work We've then got the second pack I looked at, which were the Wargames Atlantic. Now, these are a much newer kit. They came out uh, in 2020. Uh, four figures on a sprue, so twice as many, but an awful lot more options. You can see there that there's uh, so many variations you can do with this. Now, these are quite nice in that one of the figures you'll notice is split in half with three separate torsos. You've got a standard rifleman torso, you've got an officer's torso, and then you've got officer complete with the much more elaborate uniform. So you've got some nice variety there. I, I like that touch because that's something missing from the Perrys are the command figures. Now, when you put this together, there's a lot more variations on uh, as you can see, you've got a lot of different heads. You've got two bare-headed, which bear remarkable similarity to certain characters from a TV series. Uh, some of the other heads also quite similar for that. Uh, you've got one with a bandana on. Looks suspiciously old and as if he's from Cheshire for some reason. And we've got a couple in the caps and then we've got plenty in, in the shakers, including the larger plumed officers ones. Full of personality. I like that touch. Lots of variations on the arms. You, you, you will find there's so much left over on this sprue, it's unreal. Uh, there's, some, there's some little bits that I quite like. They've put a seven barrel, barreled knock volley gun in there. Yeah, I wonder why that one's in there. Um, you've got a low, you got sort of loading arms, you've got a bugle, which is a, a nice touch. The only thing I, well, things I didn't like was the fact there's only three packs. So if you wanted everybody in packs, you are going to struggle. Admittedly the officer figure wouldn't be wearing a pack but you're not always going to build them all up as officers so that was a, a minor downside. I, I, I can live with that. Um, the bases when I was photographing them gave, gave me a bit of a nightmare. That some of them are quite small. These will definitely require basing. If you're the sort of person who just plays with them straight as they are it, you're going to struggle. They are going to fall over remar remarkably often. So that was a negative and the bayonets sorry my correction I'm, uh, I'm gonna hear all the uh, the rifles uh, in the audience going no they're not bayonets they're swords it's a, a tradition that they had a longer sword bayonet because the Baker rifle was slightly shorter therefore a longer bayonet was, was issued so they are separate and okay I understand it particularly when you've got the officer figure um, but the downside is they are a bit more fiddly and prone to, to break off. They don't look as natural as the, the Perry ones. So what did I make of them? Well, I put them together. I've made a number of figures up with this. You got, As you can see, the pauses are a lot more varied. Uh, the kneeling figure is particularly, particularly nice for that. And then I put together the second set you can see here. I made an officer up which I, I think is quite nice. I'd have liked a straight sword and I'd have then gone probably for the less ornate body but hey it just ha it, it's it's easy enough to acquire one of them from somewhere. We've got obviously the figure with the, the volley gun and the loading figure there. 
on the kneeling pointing they, they they really are going to add character they, they're going to be ideal if you play a game like chosen men where you're talking much smaller units with a few figures um, they're going to blend in if you're playing a full-size black powder unit but that that's not an issue so really nice figures a bit more fiddly to go together though and then what i came up with was the idea of actually combining the sets so what i've actually done here you can see s some examples uh, I've used the peri bodies because I wanted variation on the, the bodies with various bits from the War Games Atlantic set. Figure on the left, I've used the loading arms and the head, and you'll see with the heads I had to use a little bit of green stuff just to make the heads compatible. That was easy enough to do. Um, so that that one gave me a nice loading figure for the firing line. The bugler figure, I just used the again arms and in fact. Did, don't think I actually used yeah I did use the head from this one I think for a second because they, they do look pretty similar once you got the heads on um, so I used again head head and arms for that one and the final one all I changed was the head just to give a cap figure advancing so it would blend in a bit with the figures were in the shako so nice figures both sets uh, both have got advantages and disadvantages um, I personally think the way I've gone of combining them is going to give you the best option. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon for another review.